So this is going to be a series. I've decided since the last thrifty haul that I did was such a hit and so many of you loved it and enjoyed it and commented and shared where you find goodies and deals and just enjoyed it so much that I thought, why not continue this into a series? So this is part two of this series of thrifty finds. So let's dig in so you can take a peek at the deals that I scored recently. Here we go. Let's let's just start this video out looking inside the bag. So I have my reusable Trader Joe's bag. So I love me some Trader Joe's. I have to go to a Trader Joe's that's on the Kansas side or in the city if I do go because there's not one very close to me. So, but I love their bags and I used it when my mom and I went to a uh, to a crop on the Kansas side to visit our um, our uh, friend who sells over there, Renee. She does pop-up shops. She owns a shop that we used to love, but she's uh, closed her shop recently. And now, let me just get this out of the way. Sorry for the loud noise of the bag. Um, and then they just happen to have a pop-up shop, that, uh, that, or a pop-up garage sale, excuse me, scrapbook garage sale, that you can um, just go and shop. So we did that too, and we shopped with her. So uh, this is all the things that we got from the Crafty Garage Sale from the crop. So I'm excited to share with you these little finds that we were able to scoop up in the deals, and I will share what the price is. So, okay, so first off, this is something my mom picked up, 25 cents, a whole little stack of cards. She will love to use these little note cards that are already lined and corner rounded for journaling spots in her junk journals. This is also her find, it was 25 cents. It looks like it was on clearance um, somewhere for 250 and they were selling it. So it has the 10 envelopes, 10 ribbons. And it actually looks pretty cute. So they're like invitations, but it's a vellum. So why not? Especially for the things that she likes to do and you never know, I might find something that I wanna do on that. So this is a little Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday little cards that I picked up. Um, and my mom, she loves to use things like this. She stamps on them or uh, embellishes them and puts them in little pockets in her junk journals. I might use it for a future little planner or something like that. Let's see what else did we get. Oh, she got another one of these. This was not my haul. So this was obviously 25 cents too. And the lines are this way. So that was a nice little score. Um, let's see. This little die is a My Favorite Things. And it's a little pocket. Four bucks. I love it. Because look, it was $28.99 originally. No thank you. I do not want to pay $28.99 for this little gift card pocket. Which is... It's, it's going to be used for pockets of all kinds. It doesn't have to be just used for gift card, but it's perfect for that, for card making. $4. That's a steal. I'm excited. Let's put that to the side. This was something my mom picked up, 50 cents. And it looks like it was normally uh, $14.99. Then on clearance for $9.99. And it's an old school SEI 8x8 pad, so you could tell. But still, you can use all of these different, look at that, rose gold or copper, whatever you want to call it, um, foiled copper, I guess it'd be more, but yes, they still, you can still use these designs. So it's not even out of style. Love it. And the price 50 cents can't be that. This was something that my mom picked up and it looks like it's some papers, scrap papers, and then these little uh, ephemera and some twine that go with they coordinate together for 50 cents. Love that, it will come in handy for the fall. Um, this is something she also picked up. It's an edge cardstock strips for 25 cents. So those are always nice to have so you don't have to die cut those. They're quick and handy to use for projects. Um, let's see, she picked up this uh, Darcy for a dollar embossing plate. Can't beat that, it's brand new with the tulips. Very cute, and it's brand new, cannot beat that. Um, this was a stamp that I told her she should pick up. It was 25 cents. It's brand new and it has butterflies in the hair and it's just super cute because, you know, for her junk journals and the girly things that she does, the feminine like style uh, for her journals, I always think these type of stamps are perfect for that. So I always pick them up when I see them if she's not with me as well. I picked up this little trim 
because it's cute. It's gold. It was 50 cents. And I mean, come on, floral lace trim. Love it. I will use that. She will use it. So that's great for us. Um, Paige Evans. Who doesn't like some Paige Evans? 50 cents. Puffy little stickers. Adorable. I love it. So this will be for next year, next Christmas. Let's see, $3 for this. I was so excited about this because I love stencils. And Ulta New, come on, $3 for these. Tailored Expressions, the whole um, rainbow. And then, and look at that, we're going to $13.99. Amazing. Some um, mixable stencils, $5.95 normally, my favorite things brand for the brick. I think I have brick, but I'm not sure. So if not, now I have another one or I have one and I didn't have one. So, uh, of course, when you see Tim Holtz, you get it, right? I mean, these were all in a pack and my mom loves clocks. So I knew she liked that. And then cobwebs, which can be used for Halloween or lots of types of things, dusty old, like vintage or whatever you're doing. Um, a little doily type stencil and a tree. So for three bucks, cannot beat that. And so these ladies, they, so you're allowed to um, have a table with stuff for sale. If you are attending the crop, you can come shop. If you are not attending the crop, but you just want to shop. So that's what we did this day. But when they have one near us on this Missouri side, we'll be attending. And I just love the idea of being able to just put some stuff out there for sale and then shop other people's things. Cause you know, we always need to scoop up on these deals. So my mom picked up these little punches, um, a heart and a snowflake for 25 cents each. She likes to have the little handy punches because she doesn't really use uh, the electronic machines unless I cut it for her. So, I mean, I like the punches too. Sometimes it's just easier, right? So here she picked up this 12 by 12 paper pad for $1.50 Kaiser Craft and it's Christmas and it's beautiful. The red barn door, the wood, the checkered pine cones. What is this? Um, like a dough cookie cutter tree with the powdered sugar. Christmas tree here, wood barn, snowflakes, glitter, some more wood. Absolutely love it. So cute and you cannot beat that price. And I love when you cannot get paper sometimes, you know, like it's just nice. Okay, we got some heartfelt creations and this is a custom design die template for um, holly ornaments. So it's holly uh, leaves and the ornament and this was $2. Cannot beat that. It doesn't even look like it was used because this looks like it's brand new in the package. It is open here, but I don't even think they removed this. So fun and good price. Amazing price. Here we have, she picked up these, my mom. Um, perfect petals, $2. Love it. It also looks like it was never used. Oh, and these are Spellbinders heart uh, felt creations. So maybe these are a little bit older. I'm not really sure. Well, let's see. It says 2011. Yes. So these are a little bit, a few years older. But always can use butterflies, always can use trims. And for $2, why not? But I knew I've never seen this Heartfelt Creations package, and uh, not for a minute. Uh, so not for a little while. So I could tell they're a little bit older. But sometimes that's what you want. Just like when we scored the, you know, Creative Memories. Like, hey, I like some older things, old school things. Um, let's see. This cutting template, five pieces, compatible with Sizzix, Cuddlebug, and Spellbinders. And I just love that it's all the different sizes. So it's great for layering a dollar. Sabrina S, you had some things. You had some deals. She uh, had some papers. I picked these up for a dollar. And honestly, I didn't even look inside. Like, I don't do that. Like, if I see the first cover and it looks good. Feathers and it's double-sided. Cut apart. Super cute. And fun and summery. That's what I thought when I saw it. It's like summer. So, super cute for a buck. Can't beat that. Uh, let's see, $2 for this one, and it's cut apart. And, it, and it, they're thick. You can tell the quality is amazing. It's Bella Boulevard, which is, um, what is that? That's a sister company to, is it Cuddlebug? I think it is. I think it is. So, or Doodlebug, Doodlebug, sorry. I always want to say Cuddlebug. But look how gorgeous these are. With the recipe cards, of course, the cut apart Echo Park. And then these ones are Echo Park as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous. And that, again, was, I don't even know how many sheets are in here. But it is a bargain. Okay, then we also picked up, oh, I picked up this one. 
let's just skip to the paper. $4 for this. Imagine that. And I just love the teapot, the little unicorn. My niece loves unicorns. It has some birthday balloons and all that little girl stuff. So I might make her something. And the sticker sheet cannot beat that Echo Park. I'm excited. Imagine that. So cute. Okay, and then let's get on to this first. We got some more embossing folders. My mom's addicted. Let's just admit that. She loves embossing folders. Um, so, and when they're a buck a piece, can't beat that, right? So we got a Sizzix pattern here, some roses, cuddle bug. See, that's why I get cuddle bug on the mind. And then it's on like, no, it's doodle bug on the, um, boulevard, whatever it is. Um, the sister company, I'm pretty sure. Cuddle bug we got here, Sizzix, cuddle bug and cuddle bug and they were all a buck a piece and i we have some that we have duplicates that i think we're gonna sell in the next one for a buck a piece too um we got this little pink um fresh i love pink fresh lovely blooms little journaling bits and that was a dollar simple stories little princess little ephemera that was 50 cents we got some simple story bits and pieces valentine's i hard eyes 50 cents some puffy stickers for christmas 50 cents can't beat that and i bought this at normal regular price during christmas time and then now they were on the garage sale peppermint kisses 50 cents from renee uh, simple stories journaling bits 50 cents how cute uh, some more simple stories chipboard frames a dollar uh i bought this line when it was originally from prima when it was full price and then i'm like why not get it when it's on clearance or you know on sale at the garage sale 50 cents and then a simple stories chipboard stickers i love chipboard stickers they're the best they add dimension they add thickness and oh i didn't say what was that 50 cents cannot beat that hard eyes super cute and great for next year so that was the haul for this little um garage sale scrapbook garage sale that was at um or a crop if you don't have crops i'm sure you have crops near you i totally recommend finding out if they have garage sales at them because if they do and you're open to the public like if you're not attending the crop you should pop in see what type of deals you can score because ladies want to get rid of their stuff so they can buy more stuff you know what i mean thanks for watching bye